tonight, the nation is reflecting on the somber milestone, 20 years since the attack on 9-11, and in many ways it feels like yesterday. Let's take a look at beams of light in New York City that mark where the World Trade Center's Twin Towers once fell. A solemn yet visual reminder of that dark day that will forever be etched into America's history. Here's another look at the tribute in lights from a different vantage point. This is from Ground Zero. What a dignified honor for the nearly 3,000 lives lost in the attacks and a reminder of what's happened here 20 years ago today. Earlier today, President Joe Biden joining thousands at memorials in New York, Pennsylvania and the Pentagon. Millions across the rest of the country pausing not to mourn, but to make sure the world never forgets the people lost in the terror attacks. We saw that Americans were vulnerable, but not fragile that they possess a core of strength that survives the worst that life can bring. We learned that bravery is more common than we imagined. And bravery is exactly what it took for one Fort Mill woman to make it out alive that fateful day. Rita Ripke is a 9-11 survivor who was working on the 33rd floor at the World Trade Center site 20 years ago. And tonight she's sharing her remarkable story of survival. Rita Ripke lives a simple life these days. Has a small photography studio in Fort Mill, married with kids. After 9-11, you kind of reevaluate your priorities a little bit. Because 9-11 for her was the day she almost didn't make it home. I was working for Citigroup. Uh, we were located at Seven World Trade Center. Ripke had just sat down at her desk on the 33rd floor and was eating breakfast. All of a sudden, I hear this big, loud noise. Mm -hmm. Having grown up in Israel, you're trained as, as a young kid. You, like, you hear something, you, you scram. Ripke knew she had to get out. I just see things falling, and at that point, people were starting to get into the office. So I turned around and I said, grab all of your crap and get the out of the building. She and her colleagues began the descent, racing down 33 flights to the ground floor. She didn't even realize what had happened until she got outside. We turned around and we looked up and both buildings are just on fire. Ripke, part of the throngs of people escaping through the streets of New York. It was surreal. It was, it was like a really bad scene out of a bad action movie and you're, you're kind of thinking, is this really happening? Then the image that is still etched in her brain. She watched that tower collapse. We hear all this grumbling and we turn around and you can just see the towers just just fall. It was just surreal. Ripke and her husband settled in Fort Mill, had to leave the city for sanity's sake. But the fateful day in the city certainly never left her. Because it's not something that I want to relive on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's something that I never want to forget. And with those memories, new perspective on the things that matter most. We all get to share this earth, this place for such a short period of time. Um, why not have a little bit of grace, a little bit of empathy, a little bit of understanding and just let people live their life.